Hey guys, it's Kelby Hightower with Medicare Monday for Seniors. Hope you guys are doing well. Medicare Monday for Seniors is all about providing you bite-sized information to make your life easy by making Medicare simple. We would encourage you guys to be able to go out and follow us on Facebook, like and share that, and also check out our content that's on our YouTube channel if you'd like a deeper dive into Medicare uh, or anything dealing with Medicare and all types of things dealing with seniors. Uh, we have all types of content that's being provided there on that platform and encourage you guys to go do that. We would encourage you also to watch, listen, and then give us a call once you're ready to make a decision on choosing a health plan. A lot of, a lot of this is provided to you guys to build relationship and build uh, trust and, and realize that we're here to educate and coach and teach and, and guide you along. But at the end of the day, you need a licensed professional to be able to walk you through the health plan options that's best fit, fit for you. So this week, we're going to be going over again an ancillary product that, that a lot of times almost all Medicare beneficiaries now are concerned about, and that is dental coverage. So you have a couple of different ways to get dental. One, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan that has a dental benefit, it may pay up to $1,000 or $1,500 or $500 for your plan. And you may realize all of a sudden, you know what, I have a, a different comprehensive need. And now I have $3,000 worth of dental that needs to be done. What do I do? Well, you can pick up a, an ancillary or a dental policy Typically, most of our Medicare beneficiaries that we insure with a dental plan, they pay anywhere from about $11.29 up to about $25 a month. Typically, that's going to cover all their, uh, their preventative, like their dental, uh, oral exams, cleanings, dental x-rays, all that. They may have to pay a small copay, like a $10 or $15 copay per visit, but it's going to cover all the preventative services. Now, the dental plans that we typically like to, to use usually cover about 50% of comprehensive care. So that means if you go in to have an extraction done, you may have to, the extraction may be $100, you're paying $50, they're paying $50, and, and that's all you're out, out of pocket. For major things like crowns, root canals, and things like that that can get into $1,000 or $2,000, you're basically paying 50 cents on the dollar. So if you have a policy that's $11.29, you go to the dentist, say, two times a year for your, your routine cleanings and exams and things like that, and then you have a major comprehensive issue that comes up, and the plan saves you $500 that year, well, you've paid, let's say, $12 times 12, that's $144 that year, to save $500. Well, you subtract out the premium and you saved about 350, what, $6 for the year. So what does that mean? If, if you insure yourself with a policy and, and the insurance doesn't pay back to you enough dividend or benefit, you're probably overpaying or have a policy you shouldn't have. Dental insurance is one of those things if, you're, if you have teeth and you're trying to maintain good oral hygiene, Dental insurance is probably one of the products that's one of the most lowest expensive things that you can pick up that actually covers a major amount of the dental that you have done. But I also have seen people out there that sell policies that have uh, secluded networks at a higher premium, and then they only pay out up to a certain amount. So the policy may pay out $1,500 of care. So if you have $3,000 worth of dental work done, it covers $1,500 of that, you pay $1,500, but then the, the plan is capped for that year. We actually like to do more open uh, access, access plans when it comes to the networks. That means you can go to a lot more dentists, but also we like to have plans that do not have max out of pockets. Some plans have max out of pockets, some plans don't, some plans are confusing, some plans aren't, and we like to keep things simple for our clients. So if you are out there searching for dental plans, you may have a list of some questions and things like that you want to kind of begin to ask if you're dealing with an agent, but does it have a max out of pocket? What if my, uh, what if I exceed that for the year? Do I have to pay it 100% out of my pocket once the plan is paid out? Well, yes, you do. Make sure you're asking informed questions to ensure that you're getting insurance that really covers. And then pay premium that's going to pay you back more for the normal uh, stuff that a person is going to have. I mean, you're going to normally have something throughout the year, even if you get your cleanings and, and, and all your preventative provided at a lower premium, it's worth it. The, the other thing I'm going to leave you with uh, today, and then we're going to go into next week talking about vision and hearing ancillary products, is um, a lot of times we like now dental offices that are comprehensive dental. They do everything. They do the oral exams, the cleanings, the, I mean, extractions, fillings, root canals, they do it all in one office. 
And there's big box stores out there that a lot of times people don't like to deal with, but there's smaller regional size companies like the dentist that my wife and I and our children go to. Uh, they're, a, they're a large corporation, but they have a, 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 a local home feeling. So when we go in there, everything's new and clean and fresh, and we have a great experience. But if we need comprehensive work done, they actually can almost all do that under one roof. So what does that do for you as a senior? It cuts down on your drive time. It cuts down on the headache of you trying to get in and out of places, like if you had to go to a specialist. If the specialist comes to that office and works on you, it's a lot easier on you. It's a lot easier on your time management and getting in and out of the house, especially if it's bad weather, raining, and all the things that we have to uh, each face. Guys, if you have additional questions, reach out to us. Otherwise, next week we'll be diving into shortly just talking about vision and hearing uh, benefits and ancillary coverage for that. Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Music